you know, it's uh, not such a restriction on what people can carry on the plane. It depends if you're with more than like one person, but if you're on your own, you don't really need it. I'm actually really happy. I think it should have happened a long time ago. The one man policy has been a bugbear of the UK traveller ever since it was introduced in August 2006. Since then, passengers have only been allowed one piece of hand luggage. But from today, we will happily be allowed two. Because Manchester Airport has proved to the Department of Transport that its staff can handle the extra workload. We have needed to invest about £2 million in new scanning equipment, additional uh, space in the security search areas and also bring in new staff. So all of that together we were able to show to the government and demonstrate that there won't be enormous queues here if we bring in two-bag rule and, and so far so good today. But it's not all plain sailing. While Manchester is one of 22 airports to lift the one-bag restriction today, others still have to get the go-ahead from the Department of Transport. And some airlines have chosen to keep the one-bag rule regardless of which airport you fly from. Some passengers feel the rules should be made clearer. We don't know where we are. We don't know what we to, to take, what we can take and what we can't take. It's just not clear at all until you actually get there and say, no, you can't take that, no, you can't take that. Because not every airport has actually applied for permission to do this, certain airlines are concerned at the potential for confusion, which they're right, there is potential for confusion. So the best advice to passengers is check with your airline before you fly if you want to take more than one piece of hand baggage into, your, into the cabin. While the changes are welcome, there is still a lot of scope for confusion. And remember that the relaxation of the hand luggage restrictions apply only to the number of bags and not what you put in them. There's still some very strict rules limiting the amount of liquids or gels to 100 millilitres. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.